This is a GIMP tutorial on how to put this lady's face onto this lady's face. I've taken both of these images from a website called Wix Photo. It's free to download, so it's a good website for getting some templates. So we're going to take this lady and we're going to use the R key for rectangle tool. We're going to highlight around her face, control C. We're going to go into this picture and control V, make that a new layer, and we're going to use the shift T and the control mouse wheel to resize the face. Then we're going to change the opacity on that so we can see through the picture. And then we're going to move the eyes. What we want to do is we want to match up the eyes and the chin. So we're going to do shift R to rotate and we're going to rotate her face around. And then we're just going to move her, move around, get the chin to match up. And as you can see, her eyes don't match up. So we're going to do shift T to transform and do control and left mouse button. And we're going to have to rotate a little bit more. And it's looking not bad. I think we'll work with that. OK, so next what we're going to do is we're going to use the eraser tool. And if you haven't seen my previous tutorial on how to create the shortcuts for GIMP, I suggest you use it. So what I'm doing is the shift alt mouse wheel to increase the size of the brush. And I'm just going to erase out. You can also change the opacity, so I'm going to make the opacity higher, and I'm just going to erase out parts of her face. Now I'm going to put the opacity of that layer back now, and I'm going to start erasing around her face. And she's got her hand on her face, on her chin, so that's a little harder, so I'm going to do control mouse wheel and move in, reduce the size of my brush, and then just do some fine erasing in here. mouse wheel out. That looks pretty darn good. Now, the problem is, is the color of her skin. This girl's skin is a little green, and this girl's skin is the back is a little red. So we're going to try and match them. Now, there's two ways of doing this. You can, this is GIMP 2.8. You can go and save your picture into GIMP, and then upload it in 2.6, because 2.6, the color balance works way better and totally different than 2.8. Color balance does not work in uh, not the way it used to in 2.8. So what we're going to do is we're going to use color and curves. We're going to pick our red channel and we're going to adjust it up a bit like that. And as you can see it's almost matched it and that's not bad. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my eraser again and I'm going to choose a lower opacity and maybe I'm going to get a slightly fuzzier brush, fuzzier on the edges, make it a little bit bigger, zoom in, and just take out a little bit of this here, just so the blending is a little better. Now, when you're choosing pictures to, to match, change faces or whatever, you're going to have to try and look for the same colors, faces, and the same pose, so that they don't look too different. Because if not, you're going to have a hard time matching that up. But that's how you do it. That's pretty quick. Um, so enjoy.